morning, good morning, good morning. Always great to be able to get together with y'all this morning. Be able to share a little bit of time and some good coffee and a good moment in the Word. You know, our good coffee this morning is um, at Mount Comfort. This is their Peru roast. I, I, it's good stuff. You get a chance to get a hold of any Mount Comfort coffee, you might want to give that a try. Mm. Ooh, that's good. It's a great way to start the day. Only way better to start the day is to start the day in the Word of God. We're in the midst now in a study at the churches where I pastor of um, prophecy, current events, and the end times. And somebody be like, why do you talk so much about the current events? Maybe that's not what we need to talk about. Well, the thing is, that you have to understand that anytime you discuss history to those people that you're discussing in that history, that history you're reading, that was their current times. The current times do play a role. And Jesus, we don't see him reflecting a whole lot upon the things that are going on at current times and current events. But people brought him into those conversations in Luke chapter 13, verse 1 through 3 said there were some present at that very time who told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. Now that's a that's a euphemism, if you would, that they mingled their blood with their sacrifices. What happened was that Pilate had them killed and murdered while they were making sacrifice. So their blood is mixed in with the sacrifices. So let's go on. Jesus answered and dude. Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than any other Galileans because they suffered in this way? And you said, no, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. He said, look, it's important to recognize these current events, these things that happened. But Jesus brought it all ahead and he said, look, he said, unless you all likewise, unless you all repent, you will all likewise perish. He didn't mean necessarily by that way, but... He wanted to stress the things that were really important. Now, he wasn't really minimizing the deaths of these people. He himself would stand before Pilate, and he knew that. But he was saying that we don't need to get lost in the weeds of the current events, things that are going on, to the point that we forget the most important thing, and that is bringing the, the gospel, the good news, to others. And the good news is that, just like he told them, said, if you repent, he said, you'll live forever. He says, if you don't repent like these, you will, you will die, you will perish. So we need to remember that. Now, again, we'll be stressing current events this coming Sunday, and uh, there are things that we need to know. There are things that are, that are important. There are things that happen and decisions that we make in the midst of these current events that are going to shape uh, the, the future, not only ours, but those around us. And there are consequences. So if you get a chance, come join us this Sunday. Or maybe if you have your own church, don't, don't leave your own church to come here and me. Go to your own church, but then find us that evening on Facebook or on YouTube, wherever we will. We're going to be discussing current events. Like I told you, the very first Sunday we started this series, the most current event is, is where are you with Jesus Christ right now? Let me pray for you. Father God, I pray that way all with the things happening around us and the nonstop news and the onslaught of these things that are just steadily bombarding us, that we would stop and realize the most important thing we need to stop and think about is, okay, where are we with you, Christ, and where is our... Where are our families, our neighbors, our friends? Where are they in their relationship with you? And let us never forget to share the, the good news in the midst of all this bad news and the things that's happening. Father God, keep on our hearts that desire to be able to bring others to you. All this I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. You know, God loves you. I love you. Make sure someone knows that you love them. Reach out to them today. Share with them the good news. And if you can do so over a good cup of coffee, even better. Y'all have a great and wonderful day. Be blessed.